We've been talking about briolette beads today, and I want to show you some really interesting shapes that are not quite briolettes, but they are also side drilled beads. So look at this variety. They come in so many different colors, and you, you can use them together to create some really interesting designs. And you can even combine them with side drilled beads that have two holes, so these are sliders. And if you take a look at this necklace, this is a project that was designed by Molly Shaler, and it's inspired by a Mayan breastplate. And you can see the different rows are brought together by the sliders, and there in the center, those pointy beads, those are daggers, sharp ovals, or you could also call them marquees. So to get started for this type of necklace, what you'll need to do first is cut two pieces of beading wire, one about 12 inches and one about 14, and we have the complete instructions on the website. But you'll add a crimp bead, Normally I use a number one crimp bead for two strands like this. And you'll pass it through a piece of chain. And this is kind of an unusual chain, but you could use any style. I love this coppery color with the turquoise that Molly used. So you just make sure that all of your wires are passing parallel through the crimp and the chain. And it doesn't have to be really close there. What we'll do first, and we haven't talked about crimping a lot today, so what you do first is use the outer jaws to make an oval. You're just making an oval shape and then you use the inner jaws to make a crease and that's going to allow the crimp to fold. Now I turn the crimp 90 degrees, put it back in the outer jaws and fold it in half. So that makes your crimp nice and secure and it's also very round and it looks good in your design. It's less obtrusive that way. You could cover it with a crimp cover if you want to. Now for this particular piece I'm using beads that are large enough I think to pass over both strands. So I'll pick up a small three or four millimeter copper, and then I'll follow that up with another copper bead as well. If they don't fit, then you'll need to trim these off because it's important to get your beads very nice and snug against the crimp. So you'll just start your beading pattern. Now the part we want to get to here is to show you how to add the slider. So I'll add a few more beads to stay with our pattern, another copper, and these look great with turquoise. Silver, of course, would be beautiful. This is a glass bead, but it mimics that turquoise color. And pass it through. And then these coins. Coins are a great shape, too. One of the fun things about this project is that it mixes so many different shapes together. So now we're ready to divide these strands. And we'll take the short strand first. So it's the 12 inch section with a small bead and then the medium copper pass it through, and then we'll pass it through the top hole in a slider. And that's really the key to starting your first strand. If you take a look at this piece, you'll see right here I pass through the top hole on each of these sliders. Now for the second strand, you'll come through and bring it through the bottom hole of your first row. So just to show you really quickly here, we'll add another larger copper and then a small copper and then we'll pass through that hole. And you'll complete that strand in the same way. So just following that pattern through the bottom hole of the slider, you can see how they've come together in two strands. This one is an example with the two strands already done. I would just crimp it here. Now to add the third strand, the final piece is to use a piece of beading wire. This one's gonna be 12 or 14 inches as well. And you just add your crimp one more time, you're crimping onto the end of the wire. So you want to make an oval then squeeze it to make the crease, then fold it. Now you can trim this off. Okay, you can trim off this extra wire because the crimp is going to hold it in place. We'll just squeeze, give this a little extra squeeze and make sure it's very secure. Then we'll pass through a copper bead and we'll be ready to start the third strand on the design. So now you have these empty holes here you'll just pass through and that crimp will hold the third strand in place. You'll pass all the way through the center, repeating your beading pattern between sliders, connecting it. And you'll notice here the marquees in the center. If we take a look at the finished necklace, you'll see that the bottom strand has two marquees in the center at the bottom. So there's a single one above and two at the bottom. And the black necklace is a great example of a really simple way to use side drilled beads.